When this has been determined, you then complete another series of track sessions and establish the needle clip factor, which is selected here. And as you can see, by adjusting this, you can either select a richer needle clip position or a weaker needle clip position by reducing the factor. Always remember to enter the current weather conditions before you adjust the jetting factor to determine the optimum. You will notice also that from time to time the and washer message is displayed here. Now this simply if your particular regulations allow the use of the washer then this is a Del Auto part available from your dealer which is exactly half the thickness of the distance between the needle clip notches on the needle. So effectively either by placing the washer under the needle clip or on top of the needle clip you are essentially able to accurately adjust the needle clip position to half clip positions. Such is the accuracy of JetTech ICC. Having completed the main jet jetting factor and the needle factor adjustments, you will have optimized your particular carburetor settings and these are of course have been saved under setup number one. Now if you had another carburetor available to use then you would simply select number two and repeat the same process fine tuning for that particular carburetor. Well, let's reselect number one which you have optimized over a number of track sessions. Now next time you return to the track you would simply enter the current weather conditions into the software from your barometer and the optimum needle clip position and main jet would be displayed. You can further fine tune the JetTech dynamic simulation model by using JetTech Flowbench. This is a simple tool but can be used to radically modify the way the JetTech software works. If for instance your engine tuner insists that you always use the P2 clip position then you would simply move the needle clip adjustment all the way to the left hand side which is minus 20. Then as air density changes indicated by this rising bar the main jet recommended would change but as you can see the needle clip position has not changed at all. By using Flowbench in this way you can exactly follow your tuner's jetting requirements. Now similarly you could also move from zero to a plus figure. Now this would have the effect of making the needle clip move more quickly with air density than it would normally do set at the zero position. As you can see in this way you can very quickly fine tune the software to exactly match the air and fuel flow characteristics of your carburetor. You can also adjust the main jet rate of change by using this control and again if let's move it all the way to a positive 20 which will make the main jet selection move much more quickly with a change in air density than would it would do normally. Select lower and if you watch the control you can see moving quite a number of jets weaker than it would have done had the zero been selected. As you can see when we pressed lower before it went down as low as a 155 main jet. Now let's select the same control and as you can see it now only moves uh, one 
jet to a 162. Jet Tech Flow Bench is a powerful adjustment feature and should really only be used by experienced engine tuners or by the carter using exhaust gas monitoring equipment and perhaps an oxygen sensor in the exhaust so you can exactly match the performance of your engine with the performance and the jetting requirements of your carburetor. However you choose to fine tune JetTech ICC, once the process has been completed, lock the system and then simply enter the weather conditions and whichever setup you have programmed into the software, then the main jet and needle clip position will always be shown and the optimum setup will be maintained for your particular carburetor and engine combination. The advantages you will have in using this software is that of course the best engine tuner in the world can only tell you how your jetting was when you return to the pit after the race which of course isn't a lot of good to anybody if it wasn't the ideal setup for the race. Of course using jetting software such as JetTech ICC you can predict in advance of the race the optimum jetting for your particular engine and carburetor and those particular weather conditions thus giving you a massive advantage when comparing your engine tuning performance with the best in the world. That concludes this video tutorial for JetTech ICC.